Hi boys and girls, we are here with the Sports Council, National Sports Council's track and field program. We're going to bring some activities for you to do while you are at home. I'm Wendy Barrow Smith, this is Coach Alfie Belgrave, Coach Leo Garens, and we're going to be giving you some fun activities to help keep your strength and your speed up until we start back again. We're going to require a few pieces of equipment. You, might need a, you will need a mat to do the stretching on or an old towel. We're going, to get some, we're going to try to get some dumbbells if you have them, three to five pounds. Or we're going to use the pet bottles, the drink bottles, fill them with water or sand, depending on the size you can manage, and a skipping rope. We also need our water bottle for our recovery. We go to the warm-up stretches. We start in with the movements for the glutes and the hip activation. Our first movement, single leg raise. Leg prone on the ground. Bend one, one knee's bent. You're raising the other leg straight as possible. All the way up, back down to the ground. Five repetitions for each leg. Next movement, we go to up and back straight leg stretch. Flat on the front, we're lifting from the hip, legs as straight as possible, as high as you can carry it, five repetitions on each leg. Next movement, lateral leg raises, we're going to the side, weight on the uh, forearm and the side of the, the body, raise the leg as high as possible, the top leg, and lower it back, and then you switch to the other leg. Fire hydrants. We have the weight over the arms and the, the legs. We're lifting the leg out to the side. Raise it as high as you can. And switch to the other leg as well. Each side is five repetitions. We go to the hurdle tray leg. Same position. We're rotating the, the leg from the hip out, outwards and then we go in reverse. Five in each direction for each leg. We go to three directional planks. Straight arm, and then we go from the straight arm down to the forearms. Lateral position, weight on the forearm, we're lifting the whole body, trying to maintain a straight position, and we are holding the core in as much as possible. We do five seconds on each side. In third position, we go to the back, weight on the forearms and the back of the foot, and you're lifting the whole body, and you're contracting the midsection. Cat backs. We have the weight on the leg and the arms. We're lifting the back as high as possible, then we're dropping it down on the, on the explosion, and we're holding each position for at least five seconds. Now moving on to the rocking chair. It's carrying the weight from on the back over to the front to the to the legs. Continuous movement, reaching all the way down for the to the feet. Rock stretch, final movement for the section. Pulling on, on the leg as far back as possible. We're stretching the hamstrings, hip flexors, go to the side.
opposite side. Bend the knee, pull into the body. Now we do this with the, on both legs. For the dynamic section of the stretching and the warm up, here we're going to do the aerobics, the activity for the aerobics. We're going to be jogging for around five minutes or so. If you have the space, we can ride a bike up and down the street, or we can do some skipping, skipping in place, jogging in place to warm up. This will raise the aerobic threshold. We are back with the second part of the warm up. We are into the dynamic stretching. After you've had your water, water break, and your short recovery, we will go to 10 meter, a 10 meter distance. If you have the space available, you can mark it out by long stepping. And this is the area we're going to do, we're going to use for some of our activities. First movement, we are working with lunges. Knee high, step over the leg. Hold your body straight, weight over the hips. Engage the arms. And we are doing two repetitions for each of these. Toe raises into heel raises. Body tall. We're going to keep the weight on the balls of the foot. Transfer it to the heels. Continuous movement. Jumping jacks. Arms all the way over the head. Extend the legs to, out to the side. Keeping the weight over the legs. We're going forward. And then we're going to reverse. Frog thrust, go in position, extend the arms, pull the leg into the arms. Straight leg deadlifts. Putting the weight on one leg, reaching down to the leg, and we are lifting the other leg in reverse. D 
Deep knee bends. Right over the legs. Open ever so slightly. You're gonna go all the way down as far as you can. Push up. Arms extended forward for balance. Straight knee kicks. Body tall, we got the arms extended. We're lifting the leg all the way up to the arm, going forward. Keeping the weight over the legs, hips forward. Deep knee bends with a vertical jump. Feet parallel, right over the legs, shoulder width apart. You're driving up into the air, into the squat position, push straight up. Zigzags, lateral movement. We're going over, left to right, going forward. This can also be done in a stationary position. Then we can go in reverse. Arm actions. This is a running action here. Feet parallel. We have the arms bent into the 90 degree angle. We are moving at a slower pace for 30 seconds. Then we accelerate to a moderate pace for 20 seconds. And the final phase, we go to the fast one. Fast action for 10 seconds. Mummy kicks. Arms extended. You're keeping the legs straight, right over the hips. Landing on the balls of the feet. And then reverse. At the same time, we are working the arms as well, over and under. Final one in this section, the wall drill. Running action, A position, B position, and C. Knee high, snap the foot down, pull through. Snap the foot down, pull through, knee high. Five repetitions, each side. And we pick a position where you have balance, you can rest your hand on the wall or the side of the house. We are back with the main workout. I hope you've had your water break, your recovery. For this section, we are going to be working with dumbbells, if you have them available, or our trusty water bottle, uh, pet bottles filled with water or sand, we use those as well, whatever size you can manage. We are going to have six movements in this section, each of them will be for 20 seconds, the recovery will be 40 seconds, we are going to do two reps for each movement. Our first movement. We're gonna do flies, side flies. We have the regular flies, body, uh, arms raised parallel, parallel to the ground. And then when, when we start, when we have increased our range of motion, we can go all the way up to the overhead one, which will not only stretch for the shoulders, but it will also stretch the lats as well. 
And remember, we are working for around 20 seconds for each movement. Next movement, we're going to go to punches. We have one leg forward. Put the weight on the front leg, running action. We're going to have the weights up to our chest, up to chest height, and we are going to punch all the way out as far as we can, alternating the arms. And we can add a twist at the end, end of the movement, pull back into the chest. Change the leg, put weight on the leg, and what we're going to do Our next movement, we're going to go to jumping jacks. We're going to have the weights to our side, feet together. We can raise it as high as we can manage. Open, shut, arms up. On to four point lunges. This one, we go forward, diagonal to the side, and reverse. And we change the leg and the repeat. Forward, diagonal to the side, and reverse. Rockets, a modified burpee. A modified burpee here we go. Weight on weight down to the ground. Push up as much as we can. Those that cannot manage the weight, you go freehand, push all the way up. And up. We're reaching up, to the, up over the legs where possible. Swing the arms all the way through. Those of you that can't make it all the way up, we lift the shoulders off the ground and we reach as far forward as we can. And remember we are working for approximately 20 seconds and we are doing two reps for each movement. We're going to our cool down section here we're going to relax the muscles a little, release all the stress off, stress off of them. We're going to concentrate mainly on the hamstrings because those muscles are the ones that we use the most today. And then we go, while we are doing that, we'll review what we did. Our session today covered mainly the, covered the warm up, which we will do for each section of the program before we do the main workout. And we did our strength and our mobility movements. Hey guys, that's our session for today. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Remember to stay safe, hydrate, find a safe space to participate in, and follow, like, and subscribe to the National Sports Council pages. Thank you.